Back to London with Nikki Aitken. Nikki Aitken. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Yemen has been described as one of the worst places in the world to be a woman and has been ranked last for 13 consecutive years in the World Economic Forum Global Gender Gap Index. With the situation continuing to deteriorate for both men and women, famine, human rights abuses and the use of sexual violence commonplace, what assurance can my right honourable friend give me that the UK government is doing all it can to work with all the parties involved to bring this dreadful civil war to an end, support victims of sexual violence and allow the country to rebuild and recover in peace? I thank the honourable lady for the, uh, for the point that she's raised. When I when I did my virtual uh, visits to, uh, to, to Yemen, I was able to speak with uh, Yemeni midwives and medical professionals. Um, and their reports of the situation in Yemen, particularly from women, for women, was horrific. Uh, and I found it, on a personal level, very difficult uh, to deal with. Um, and so uh, that, was, that is part of the reason why I, and indeed a UK government, is so committed to being a leading player in the pursuit for peace uh, in Yemen, because really the, uh, uh, the conflict does give, um, uh, does give the lives of women uh, in, in, in Yemen a particular horror that we want to uh, address, we want to alleviate, but the best way of doing so is to bring about a meaningful, lasting peace. And as I said uh, in response to the Honourable Member for uh, Rotherham, uh, I will uh, do what I can to ensure the voices of women are at the heart of those peace negotiations uh, and beyond.